What's up, y'all? So Queen Naj and Clarence get nasty on live. Diera, boo, ex-girl speaks out. Oh, Lord. See, that's the part that um voice be seeing that I don't be seeing. But, yeah, I'm definitely about to see what this what, what, what she's talking about. Let's get into it. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Nick G, the host. And today, I'm back with another reaction video. Mm -mm. <laughs> I'm not even chewing on that side. Ah. Now something done got up in there. Come on, bro. Oh, that's what I was doing. It got out there. Before we go any further, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying? And what the goddamn hell, yeah, Lee? Uh, we already read the title. Let's get into this video. So recently, De'Aaron posted up a picture and people were pointing out a hickey on her neck. And then Ken actually posted up a video and people were pointing out that it was a hickey on his neck. And De'Aaron basically came and shut that rumor down. She posted up a picture of her and Jasmine together, which that picture is now going viral. And if you could see... The picture is actually going viral. I believe that. It's given. Oh, I forgot. She posted that picture too. And Jasmine is on the side of her neck. She's pulled in real tight. It looked like an intimate picture. So that rumor is basically false. Like I said, De'Ara and Ken are probably still friends because you can't just throw six plus years away. But right. as far as them being anything but friends, I highly doubt it. Period. But since we're talking about De'Ara's new boo, Jasmine, when De'Ara met Jasmine, she was in a serious relationship with another girl. She left that girl to be with De'Ara. And that girl since then has been in her feelings about the whole situation. She and has. when the picture was posted of De'Ara and Jasmine together, she actually posted, she said, real love won't hold on you. You get the best version of me when I know I can trust you. It's so crazy how someone can go from talking to you every day, all day, to just completely not talking to you at all. Who it's not crazy. Nah, it's crazy, because let me not say that. God, no. <laughs> Y'all, I'm not going to lie. In her situation, not my situation, okay? In her situation, if I was that girl. First of all, I just don't feel like there's no way you could leave a person and you truly happy just to be with a woman that got a couple dollars. I just, I've ran into women with a couple dollars. It ain't all what is what you think it would be cracked up to be because first of all i want my own money because it's fuck yours anyway you know what i'm saying especially if you ain't spending it on me even if you was spending it on me i still want my own bag <clears throat> so i'm not gonna act like you know that wouldn't be crazy but this situation right here i just don't feel like she was happy with this girl because she always on social media crying about some shit i can't stand it but I, I just, it's just no way that somebody just going to leave a person who they was just genuinely in love with for anybody. You know what I'm saying? And some people do though. Don't get me wrong. There's some trifling ass people out here, but if I was her and I, you know, met Diera or whatever, and I'm not happy with you because it didn't look like they were struggling anyway. They Neither one of them looked like they was broke. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not struggling anyway. Uh, you know, I think that she's cool, you know, and I'm not around you because they was they live in two different states. Hello? I mean, <laughs> that already is bad. You know what I'm saying? I need you right here. Yeah. So I'm not surprised. But I feel like this is just my two cents and this is alleged because... None of this is true. It's just my opinion. I think, and y'all, if y'all ever see, that is a bra back there on my futon. <laughs> but I just feel like De'Ara met her in a time where she was vulnerable and she met De'Ara in a time where she was vulnerable. Hear me out. When you meet a person in that vulnerability, anything could go right or anything could go wrong. 
And in this situation, I feel like De'Ara was already, her and Kim was already like, fuck this shit, you do you, I'm going to do me. Just quit getting caught, nigga. I, I really feel like that's what that was. And with her and old girl, I just feel like, ah, we at a distance. Like, I fuck with you, but I don't right now. I just want to live my life right now. And I think that's when them two got together and got to conversing. And they, here we are. You know what I'm saying? But I could be absolutely wrong. This is a legend. I don't know what's going on with neither one of these people. You know what I'm saying? But that's just my two cents. What y'all think down in the comments? Let me know. Who the f raised you? Mm, I know what y'all thinking. Why is this girl still on this? Why she hasn't moved on? It's six months later. That's but problem, keep in mind right? that her and Jasmine were together for five plus years. Jasmine bought her a Jeep. They were supposed to get married. They were very serious before De'Ara came into yeah, the picture. Y'all leave y'all Clearly Jasmine ain't broke. So maybe you missed that part but man below, maybe she might think. not be broke you know what i'm saying but I so let's talk about what i reported yesterday because since then there's been new receipts that has been released and supposedly this girl is claiming that her and corey have been talking for a while now yesterday corey went live and said that any messages that this girl have is photoshop but the only messages that i have seen is this message i haven't seen anything other than that she said that she has pictures why you write that name shit on shade room motherfuckers all of my business you could ignore it instead you being instead of you calling me a whore you just missed out. Pay attention. Okay, Cora. Just keep my business off the internet. Thought you was different. She has messages. She hasn't released none of that to the public or to Carmen. And at this point, Carmen doesn't even believe her because Carmen said that she's been looking through all of his phones and she doesn't see any text messages or pictures. And the girl... You can't look through the phones, uh, uh, Carmen. You gotta go to fucking... You gotta go to the provider. <laughs> no, I'm playing. They actually can't do that. Um... They used to, you used to get a printout of uh, somebody's text messages, but now I think like the FBI got to be able to do that shit or something. So you can't do that. Yeah is claiming that oh he has more than one phone but sis if it's text messages you have the messages he can't unsend the messages so either send the messages to Carmen or just leave the situation alone because something is not adding up if the only messages the public have seen is these messages now I reached right. out to the girl and some of the things she's saying is just not adding up so I wouldn't be so fast to accuse Corey because this story is a little shaky and this is coming from a person that interviewed majority of the women that Corey has cheated on Carmen with the other girls I interviewed they had videos they had pictures they had text messages they had a lot of information this is the only message that i have seen thus far so i don't know it's just not adding up i could be wrong y'all leave your comments down below but to me i just feel like it's just not adding up that's just my opinion stop the this cap gotten beyond me I, I feel like a lot of these women be lying like hell i ain't gonna cap y'all before my page was disabled three weeks ago i had eighty eight thousand followers I don't give a f about no Corey. Do you know how many f celebrities and athletes was in my family? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you. Like... What's up, babe? Hey, Daddy. What's up, baby girl? When you gonna stop playing? <laughs> what the fuck is going on? What kind of porno did I walk into? Yo. <laughs> Yo, I have not seen this. This is hilarious. I love the day they, they he goofy now. With her. <laughs> I knew you like What's up, babe? Hey daddy. What's up, baby girl? When you gonna stop playing? Nigga, I'm and I'm bruh. <laughs> nigga, I'm nigga. Bruh. <laughs> no a nigga meet him with it. Nigga. Bruh shit. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to stream and I'm with you feel me. <laughs> so you say, I feel say, a little better. So you saying leave you alone? No, nah, no. Nah, I said I'm a stream and I'm gonna be upstairs. You you coming upstairs for this? Oh, she <laughs> upstairs. I'm I thought she was gone. Not streaming in the same house. You already know the vibe. I mean live in the same house. You know the vibe. You come upstairs get the <laughs> Yo, I can't. It's been a few days. Yeah, Yo, you funny as hell. What you said? It's it's been a few days, right? That's a fact. Yes. Okay. Well, I'll leave your life alone. See, let me see. let me see it one more time. Let me see it one time. Not when you're you man, you're man moving. Okay. 
It's a whole porno on the goddamn. On the goddamn shit, y'all. Just what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, you're hilarious, but. <laughs> okay, uh, X me off. What you doing? I'm doing your laundry. Your laundry is really easy to do. Okay, you trying to. He should have just went upstairs at this point. I'm doing your laundry. When you come upstairs, I'm be doing it in some lingerie. <laughs> Say less. Say less. Once I'm done with this. Babe. Uh, 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 uh. He got serious at that point. Nigga's just absolutely serious at this point. Is he going on the tour or he probably just got to watch the kids? Huh? Not watch the kids because I think they got a babysitter or some shit. But I don't know. He got to be in attendance. I, I don't know how this rich people life work. Come on, one eleven. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Bye. All right, well. How do I get off? X me off. I got you off. Huh? I'm gonna say not. Don't know how to get off. Well, I love it. You got to keep that spice in the relationship, child. So it gave what it was supposed to give for me. But I'm done with this video, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. We are on to the next video. Peace.